Welcome to the Spoken Tutorial on Drawing Basic Objects. In this tutorial, we will learn to draw some more basic shapes. Use the Shapes Deck options for drawing objects. Select, move and delete an object. Use the rulers. Change the size of an object with the rulers. And use the Align toolbar to position objects on the page. This tutorial is recorded using Ubuntu Linux OS version 18.04 and LibreOffice Suite version 6.3.5. Let us first define what an object is. The term object denotes shapes or groups of shapes. In draw, objects are used for lines, squares, arrows, flowcharts and so on. All the shapes shown in the slide are referred to as objects. Let us open our water-cycle.odg file which we created earlier in this series. This file has been provided to you in the code files link on this tutorial page. Please download and extract the file. Make a copy and then use it for practicing. We will first learn how to select an object. Let us say we want to select a clown. To do so, simply click on it. We can see 8 handles on the clown object. Handles are small squares on the sides of the selected object. Using the mouse, click on any of the side handles. Then drag to increase or decrease the size of the object. Undo these changes by pressing Ctrl and Z keys twice. We can even scale both dimensions using the corner handles. When we do that, the proportions are maintained. Resize the object by clicking a corner handle and dragging the mouse like this. After resizing, click on the cloud object, drag and place it next to the sun object like this. Press Ctrl S keys to save the file. Let us add some more objects to our drawing. Click on the shapes icon in the sidebar. This is a shortcut to open all the shapes at once. The shape stick expands and displays many shape objects to choose from. Under basic shapes, select rectangle. Now move the cursor to the page. You will see a plus sign with a capital I. Hold the left mouse button and drag to draw a rectangle as shown here. Now release the mouse button to complete the rectangle. Press Ctrl S keys to save the file. Next, let us draw some arrows. This is to show the rising of water vapor from the ground to the cloud. In the shape stick, under lines and arrows, Select Insert Line. Move the cursor to the page. You will see a plus sign with a slash. Hold the left mouse button and drag from top to bottom as shown. Now release the mouse button to complete the line. A line has two handles. Now let us add an arrowhead to this line. Right click on the line to view the context menu. Then click on the line option. The line dialog box opens up. Several tabs and options are seen here. Now click on the arrow styles tab at the top. Under organize arrow styles options, click on the arrow style drop down. Scroll to see all the available arrow styles. Select the option named small arrow and click on the OK button. This will add the selected style to the line. Click anywhere else on the workspace to deselect the line object. There are arrowheads on both ends of the line. But we need an arrowhead only on one end of the line. So, we will first undo this change by pressing Ctrl Z keys. Right click again on the line to view the context menu. 
Now click on the line option. In the line dialog box, click on the line tab. Here under the arrow styles section, we can see various fields. Look at the start style and end style fields. These are the arrow styles for each end of the line. Both show the default style as none. Click on the start style drop down and select arrow. Immediately the preview box shows our selection. Leave the end style drop down box as it is. Click on the OK button at the bottom right. Now click anywhere on the page to see the arrow clearly. An arrow has been drawn with an arrow head at the top end of the line. Arrows can also be added from the drawing toolbar on the left. Next in the shapes deck under lines and arrows, select line starts with arrow. Move the cursor to the draw page. Hold the left mouse button and drag from top to bottom as shown. Release the mouse button to complete the line. Let us add one more arrow in the same manner. Press Ctrl S keys to save the file. As an assignment, in your file My Practice, draw a line. Select line and open the line dialog box. Under the line properties field, change style, color, width and transparency for lines. Under the arrow styles field, change the arrow style as per your preference. Next, we will draw a star. In the shapes deck, scroll down to the bottom. Under stars, select 5 point star. Now place the cursor next to the cloud. Hold the left mouse button and drag to draw the star. Release the mouse button to complete the star. Click anywhere on the workspace to deselect the star. Now close the shapes deck by clicking on the cross mark at the top right. Next let us learn how to move and delete objects. To move an object, just select and drag it with the mouse to the desired location. Then release the mouse button. We can also use the up, down and side arrow keys on the keyboard to move an object. To delete an object, just select it and then press delete key on the keyboard. Press Ctrl S keys to save the file. Next we will learn about the rulers and align toolbar. Rulers are used to set up page margins and modify the units of measurement. The align toolbar is used to position the objects. Let us switch back to the drawing page. Rulers are displayed at the top and left side of the draw workspace. Let's set the measurement units for a particular ruler. Right click on the top ruler. We can see a list of measurement units. By default, centimeter is selected as the unit of measurement. Click on the inch option. The measurement unit for the top ruler is now set to inches. Similarly, let us set the measurement for the ruler on the left to inch also. Objects are drawn to scale only when units of measurement for both the rulers are same. Notice that the active ruler is shown in white color. Ends of the ruler represent page margin values that are set in page setup. Let us see how the rulers display the measurement of objects. Select the cloud. Two small start and end markers on both the rulers define the edges of the cloud. If we move these markers on the ruler, the size of the object changes accordingly. Rulers show the size of an object on the page. They also enable us to position an object on the page and display page boundaries. Let us move on to the Align toolbar now. Align Objects toolbar helps to align the selected object. It aligns the object to the left, right, top, bottom, center and centered positions. Let us enable the Align Objects toolbar. To do so, go to the View menu and select Toolbars.
from the submenu Select Align Objects. Let us now see how an object is aligned when we use different align options. Make sure that the cloud is selected. On the Align Toolbar window, click on the icon named Left. The cloud is aligned to the left of the page. Now let us understand the difference between the options Centered and Center. Let us select the Sun object. Now in the Align toolbar, click on the Center icon. The Sun object is aligned to the horizontal center position on the page. That means the object is centered exactly between the top and bottom margins of the page. It does not move the object with respect to the page width. Now from the Align toolbar, let us select the centered icon. The Sun object is now aligned to the vertical center position on the page. It moves the object with respect to the page width of the page. Since we selected both options, the Sun object is now exactly in the middle of the page. Now let us move the objects to their correct positions as per our sample drawing. Save and close the file. This brings us to the end of this tutorial. Let us summarize. In this tutorial, we learnt how to draw some more basic shapes such as lines, arrows, rectangles and stars. Use the Shapes Deck options for drawing objects. Select, move and delete an object. Use the rulers. Change the size of an object with the rulers and use the align toolbar to position objects on the page. As an assignment, open mypractice.odg file. Add a page. Draw these two objects. Move them using the arrow keys. Select any object you have drawn and delete it. Use the rulers to measure the size of the object. Then use the align toolbar and align the objects to the center of the page. The video at the following link summarizes the spoken tutorial project. Please download and watch it. We conduct workshops using spoken tutorials and give certificates. For more details, please contact us. Please post your time queries in this forum. Spoken Tutorial Project is funded by Ministry of Education, Government of India. This tutorial was originally contributed by Desicru Solutions Private Limited in 2011. The script for this tutorial was written by Nikita Missal from IIT Bombay. And this is Madhuri Ganpati along with the Spoken Tutorial team signing off. Thank you for watching.